Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to see the testing interview questions asked at Schneider Company. Right? So one of my subscriber uh, got an opportunity to appear for an interview for this company, right? And she got selected as well. So here are the top testing interview questions asked in this company. The very first question that has been asked, okay. So, so she was having a profile of automation engineer. Right. So she got all the questions related to automation testing. So the first question was how to handle iframes. Now, as you know, there are two ways in which we can handle iframes. One is driver.switch2.parent frame and one is with respect to default content. Right. Then what is exception handling? How can we write customized exceptions or user-based exceptions? Right. So exception handling is nothing but uh, you can tell it helps us to suppress the errors right so try catch is there or you can also use throw you can extend the exception class so these are all the things this these are all the answers you can give for, with respect to this question again these are the questions that she got it is not necessary that you also face the same questions but this is how the type of questions would be asked in the interview okay now what is final keyword in java along with final they can also ask about finally right so final keyword is uh, the definition you can provide. Then you can also provide uh, what would happen if we keep final with class? What would happen if we uh, link the final as a keyword with respect to variables, right? Or with respect to method or any function, right? So over here, when we keep final with respect to any class, right? So that class cannot be subclassed, right? So whenever we declare any class as final, it means we cannot extend that class or uh, you can also tell class cannot be extended or we cannot make any subclass of that particular class, right? Now, final keyword in Java, if, it means if any variable has been uh, linked with as final, right? So final, so the value of variable cannot be changed once it is initialized, right? So this is final. Now, how to maintain screenshots in a project? So this is straightforward uh, question. Any one of you can answer. So I would request the participants, the viewers who are watching this video to comment the answer of this question in the um, comment section of this video. How to run failed test cases, right? So with respect to failed underscore test ng.xml, what is Scrum process? Similarly, you can get question of what is Agile, what is Kanban? What is the difference between Agile and Scrum. How will you scroll a particular web page? So again, JavaScript executor can be used, right? So if you have to uh, scroll, so you can use, you can create an object first, JavaScript executor JS equal to JavaScript executor driver, like right? And then you have the function for JS, JS and dot execute script. Or if you want to scroll till the element is found, so you will use scroll into view if you want to scroll the page horizontally right so this is how you will be using you will be automating it then with respect to window as well you can scroll so you can scroll till the bottom of the page using this particular function and this particular argument sorry right so this is how you can answer and this is how they will ask you the question let's say if you will answer in uh, just this thing so they will create a question within the question itself. How will you scroll it horizontally? How will you scroll till bottom of the, bottom of the page, right? Then what are action methods in Selenium? So we have got mouse actions in Selenium. So one is double click, one is click and hold, one is drag and drop, one is move to element, context click, right? So what would double click do? It will perform double click on the element. What would click and hold do? It will perform long click on the mouse without releasing it drag and drop it will drag the element from one point and drop to another move to element so it will shift the mouse pointer to the center of the element context click is nothing but right click then which are the various keyboard actions in selenium so send keys are there it will send a series of keys again let's say if you want to scroll down also into the web page you can also do using send keys page down right so key up is also there key down is there it will release a particular key it will press perform key press without release 
Now, how will you automate auto suggestions in search? So this has been, uh, you know, frequently asked in few of the companies. So what you can do is you can capture the list of elements. Those are displayed in the suggestions and you can select the matching element. That's how you can automate. If you have any other alternative manner, please um, put down in the comment section of this video. Now, how will you handle the data to the framework? So whichever you can keep parameters and name and value you can keep in the arguments. Then reading data from the Excel file. So we use Apache POI, right? And then we can use XSSF workbook or XSF S sheet, right? So this is how you can create, you can give a path of the Excel file, which from which you need to retrieve the data. It can be present in your local machine in D drive, C drive in some particular folder. And then we need to create an object, a particular sheet and workbook, right? And then rows and Excel would be, with respect to row and Excel, we can automate it. How will you validate the broken images in a web page? So this is also one of the question, or you can also be asked, how will you validate the broken links in a web page? So these were the questions asked in for the automation testing position in Schneider company. Now, if you give any interviews, so please uh, share testing interview questions with us with various levels, level one, level two, level three, right? Managerial level, what, are, what you are being asked in an HR round. So those all questions you can share with us at this particular email address, rdautomationlearning at gmail.com. And meanwhile, if you are getting selected in any of the companies or if you are getting multiple offers, so please, please do share your success story also with us. It would hardly take 15 to 20 minutes, but it would be beneficial for the entire community, right? So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates and all the best for your career. Thank you.